Welcome back to Cooking or Something Like It. My name is Jody. Uh, we're going to do a chicken entree dish for you tonight. But before we get into that, a little bit of administrative stuff. Uh, make sure you check out our Facebook page, Cooking or Something Like It. Chances are if you're watching this video, that's probably where you found us. But we also have an Instagram, a Twitter, and a YouTube channel. Um, the YouTube channel has all the old videos. My oven just went off, which tells me that it's up to temp. So first step in this recipe is to preheat your oven to 360 degrees. Probably 350 will work, 375 will work. I do 360 because my oven temperature is a little bit off. So I'm shooting for 350, I set it to 360. So we're gonna do a chicken roulade, which sounds really fancy. It means rolled up chicken, that's really all it is. So how do we do this? I've got two chicken breasts here. I have cut the fat off, trimmed them, so they're pretty much just, just meat at this point. I have a piece of saran wrap. I'm supposed to say saran wrap? Plastic wrap. No, it's not so I'm gonna put the chicken on there and I'm gonna cover it with another piece. And why did I just make a chicken plastic wrap sandwich? I'm gonna pound the chicken flat because right now, with it being bulky like this, it's gonna be very hard to roll up. In fact, I don't even think I could roll it up. So get yourself one of these. It's a meat tenderizing hammer. You can use a regular hammer. It probably wouldn't work so well. Something flat like this. You can use a frying pan, actually. Uh, the back of a frying pan works pretty well for this too. And pretty much what you wanna do is exactly what it sounds like. Just pound the chicken out to flatten it out. And the reason you put the plastic wrap down is you don't want exploding chicken flying everywhere. And it does happen. So, pound these out so they're flat. A lovely sound. Let me put this like this. And you can do this uh, for a lot of dishes. If you want the chicken to be thinner, you want it to cook faster. The other thing you can do, uh, if you want like a chicken cutlet, is take the breast and just slice it in half. I didn't do that with these because when you do that, you kind of reduce the amount of meat that you have. With this, I actually want it to flatten out. I want it to be a little bigger. So I'm gonna pound this out until it's flat. Good to take out some aggression too. Take this top layer off. And the chicken st should still stay together. I can get this apart. If it starts to come apart a little bit, don't worry about it. You're going to cook it. It doesn't make any difference, really. Um, you may, if you pound it out too much, it may, you know, like I said, you can see a little bit here. It's starting to come apart in some places. Don't worry about that. All right. Now, so you can see I tripled the size of those breasts as far as the, the layout. I'm gonna wash my hands off. Now what else do we have? We've got some bacon. This is slab bacon that I cooked off before we started. I've got some plum tomatoes, a little bit of dried basil, some garlic. Do this this way so I have a little more room so you can see what I'm doing. Salt. Pepper, and this is a little bit of the bacon grease from when I cooked the bacon off. Now, we've talked about saving the bacon grease before. Bacon grease has a lot of flavor. I'm going to use this to grease my pan. Right? This is just a, I think it's a 9 by 9 pan. I'm just going to put that in there to keep the chicken on stick. And then we have some cheese, which I will get to. I guess I can probably fit this like this. I have yet to drop a whole dish on camera, but it might happen now. So, all right. So what are we going to do here? We're going to roll this up. So I'm going to take some bacon. Garlic first. Oh, garlic. Hang on, hang on. I'm getting some input from the peanut gallery here, but we're going to we're getting there. Miles would like me to put the garlic on first, so we're going to we're going to put the garlic on. So hang on. All right, garlic. Spread that on. Changing my recipe under protest for anybody who's listening. Making it easier for you. Uh huh. Alright, garlic's on, bacon, let's put 
this one half, close enough. All right, we're gonna take a little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper. This is dried basil. You don't have to use the dried basil. I, I think it'll add a little bit to it. So, and then we're gonna take some of these plum tomatoes and just kind of lay them in there. Um, if you don't have plum tomatoes, regular tomatoes will work. Uh, asparagus works really well for this. Pretty much any vegetable you want to put in here, or you don't have to put anything in. You can just go with chicken and bacon. Sounds pretty good to me. All right, so now here I have two different kinds of cheese. This is Asiago, shredded Asiago. Asiago has a little bit of a nutty flavor. It's kind of like Parmesan, but a little, it's got some saltiness to it. And then I've got provolone. Provolone's gonna melt and be nice and creamy, so. Let's put this on, like that. All right, now, it's a chicken roulade. We roll it up. So you just literally get your chicken. Do that. Now when you set it in the pan, set the rolled side down. It'll keep it together. All right, see that? So we're gonna take a little more salt and pepper on the outside. Now these are pretty hefty, okay? You're gonna have to cook these for a little while. A good 35, 40 minutes, probably not out of the question. If you wanna take a little bit of Asiago, put it on top, it'll brown on there real nice. We're gonna pop this in the oven, just like this. I'm gonna give it 30 minutes, then we're gonna check it. The chicken just has to cook. Once the cheese is melted, the tomatoes will soften, and the chicken is done, we'll pull it out, and I'll show you how to finish it. We'll be back in a couple minutes. Okay, so it's been 45 minutes at 360 degrees. You can see I pulled these out. Pretty much to finish this, take them, plate them, like that. I have a little bit of a balsamic reduction here. I'm just gonna drizzle over the top, like so. Now I would serve this with rice or a potato dish, and that's it. Super fancy, super easy. I'm Jody, this has been Cooking or Something Like It. Join us next time. Thanks for watching.